Hey guys, I thought I would do a face video because um, I wanted to show you my hair. Um, let me fix this lighting a bit. So I changed my hair, as you guys can see. Um, and if you follow me on Facebook and, you, and Instagram, you probably already saw it already. But I just wanted to make a face video to show my YouTube subscribers that I you know, have new hair. And if you see me in a process video and I'm not going old, <laughs> I just I actually dyed my hair gray. So I just wanted to share with you guys what it looks like. So I have a collective haul for you guys today um, from three different stores. So I just it's mostly Halloween things and I just really want to share them with you guys. So um, the first thing I bought is um, this Tombstone uh, nesting dies from eBay. She was selling it on eBay and that was like the best deal I can find because these dies are kind of, I think they're retired and they're so hard to find but I, I, I really really wanted them. So they're called nested tombstones and they look like this. I cannot wait to make a card with this. And then uh, that was from Etsy. I think in all it came out to like 29 or 32 um, with shipping. So um, it was the best deal I can find on this. And then I made my first order with 123 Stitch. They had some really amazing um, dies that I couldn't find anywhere else in stamps. And at the same time, they weren't too expensive. So I, and shipping was pretty good. So I placed my first order with them. Um, it came out to be $57.61 with the shipping and handling, which shipping was only $8.50, so that's not so bad. So I got um, some Halloween dies. I got this one here, the pumpkin ones from Sizzix. Um, they're called pumpkins. <laughs> so yeah, I cannot wait to make a card with them. They're so cute. And then I bought this um, bunch of bats from Memory Box. And I have a feeling they're really tiny, so let me look at them. Oh my god! Look how small these bats are! What? These are so tiny. That's the issue with ordering things online. Like, I figured they'd be small, but this is small. Oh my god. They're freaking tiny. And this was um, kind of pricey. Let me see. $4.74. I guess it's not so bad. So yeah, I got those little bats. And I mean little bats. And then from Obsession, Impression Obsession, I got the Halloween... Uh, what's it called? I don't know if there's, there's no name for it. But it's like a Halloween set. There's a witch, a house, bats, a pumpkin... And a ghost. And these are kind of small too, but they're doable. Like, they're not too small. So, um, this would pretty much fit really well on a card. I really love the pumpkin in the house. <laughs> it's so cute. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger would be better, but no worries. And then from Obsession, Impression Obsession, I also got the ghosts. Um, and these are a decent size for ghosts. Like, they were really cute on the layout on the card and on the mini album too. So yay, I'm excited for that. And then the last thing I got from the stock from there was this bat background. I really wanted this one. It was like from a it was from this company too, Impression Obsession. It was $12.74, I believe. And it was like this six by six, like this huge stamp. It had like bats and spiders and pumpkins, and it was so cute, but like it looked a little too busy, so I decided to go with this one. And it's just like and I can't wait to play with this. I can just imagine my stamp boutique images with the stamp and it's going to be super fun to play around with. So yeah, um, and then I actually got another package today in the mail and that's my last one besides the cutting mat that I bought for my machine which is a different story and I'll get to that in another video but anyway. The next order I got in today was from Joggles. They, um, like I, I'm signed up for their newsletter and so they announced that their stamp boutique images are restocked and even ordered new ones so I'm really excited because there's some that I really wanted and I buy them on joggles because shipping is faster and um, you save 15% on the the stamp so it's a really good deal I literally got it in a few days and um, Susumu who lives in Georgia I believe she ordered it as well because I had I mentioned it to her because I knew she um, she there were some samples that she wanted that were sold out too so I told her about it and she got her package in like two or three days I think four days maybe but it was super fast so if you're in the States obviously you'll get it faster <clears throat> so I got four new Sam Boutique stamps I got Twinkie 
because I just love him. He's so cute. And I got, I've been wanting this stamp forever. It's from, I think the artist is Kyra Nicole. Yeah, it is. And um, I just think it's so spooky. It's a tree with owls. I think it'd be really cute for some backgrounds on Halloween cards and stuff. I love this one. And then another one I've been eyeing forever is the Halloween Cube 2. And I stamped them out for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. I adore these pumpkins. I, I just think they're the cutest things ever. And they're like hand drawn and they have like this really fun like hand drawn look to them. And I love it. And that face too is really creepy. Like he's be cool to like substitute on top of other images. Um, so that, that's really cool. I'm really, really happy that I finally got this cube in my life because I really love these pumpkins. And the last one I got was Little T. And I don't know her name. Tawada what It's like this weird... I don't know how to spell it and I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll call her Little T. And um, she's so cute. She's like this little bat girl. She's little vampire fangs and everything. Is it focusing? Yeah, so, um, and then from the same shop, they had in their Little B um, decorative tapes. And I really wanted to try them out because these are like the... I saw them during the CHA releases and they're, they looked really cool. So I got two of them. They're really paper tape, like they're waxy, they're not like washi tape. So I only got two to start, so I wanted to see how they were like. Um, I got the Cracks in Gold Foil. Okay, hope you guys can see that. Hold on. Where's the... Can you guys see the pattern? This is not coming out too good, and I apologize, but hope you guys can see that pattern. It's like a gold, a gold foil crack look, and I think it's really cool. It's really pretty. And I also got the, um, I forgot what this is called, and there's no name, but it's like a gold foil, super, super thin one, and it comes with two rolls because they're so thin, and it's like a crisscross type of pattern. There you go. It is a really pretty gold crisscross thin foiled washi. And I'll show you this one again a little closer. There you go. This one is like a crackle effect and it's gold. And they actually have the same ones, the same patterns in silver in both washies, but I like the gold a lot more, so I got that one. So that is my collective haul. Everything got here pretty quickly. I really recommend 123 Stitch if you guys want to find some dyes and some other scrapbooking things like this. I couldn't find anywhere online. It was all sold out. And it's kind of really hard to find as well, just like the tombstones and the bats. There's bats too that I really want, and I, I can't find them anywhere. They're so hard to find. So if anyone knows where I can find those bats that like from the Stabilities, please let me know because I want them. They're so cute. Yeah, so... um. This was on sale for like $16.21, I think. Actually, I'll check. Yeah, $16.59 for um, these dyes. That's a pretty good deal. And I couldn't find them anywhere else. That's why I ordered from there. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of face-to-face -face video. I hope the lighting is not too bad and that I don't look scary. But yeah, this is my new hair. It is silver, um, gray. And I've got some really good um, responses about it. A lot of people like it more than the purple, um, which I'm shocked because I really didn't think like a lot more people would like gray hair on me. Because I, I really didn't think a lot of people would like gray hair. <laughs> so it was really like a shock to me as well because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So it's a um, very cool learning experience. I really love it. Like I had to get used to it a little bit, but I love it. I'm happy with it. I want it to be a little bit lighter, but um, so next time I go, I'm going to probably just lighten it a little. I want it to be like completely like white, gray, if that makes sense. So I'm going to stop rambling now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a great day. Bye.